Did you ever wonder how to sell NFT art? No? Okay then, never mind. Selling NFT art is by far the biggest opportunity I've seen for artists in my career. I've seen artists who never sold a piece suddenly make more than 10k a month in a matter of just a couple of weeks. And so in this video we are hopefully going to unravel how this happens. I've categorized this video into four parts. Driving traffic, selecting a place to sell art, audience sizing and what I like to call selling the shuffle. Now, as an artist, I've exhibited my work throughout the world, Berlin, Milan, Buenos Aires, London, in both galleries as well as museums. I was featured in some famous magazines like Vice, Fubis, and I've obviously sold my art. And so normally I should be able to help you out with selling NFT art. Now, without shamelessly talking about my average CV any further, let's just start off with the video. Let's start with the fundamentals. Generally speaking, there are two things that you need in order to sell NFT art. Number one, you will need a place to sell your NFT art. And number two, you will need to drive traffic, namely art collectors, to that place. Now, when it comes to driving traffic, a lot of artists think that if they make great art and list it on these marketplaces that collectors will find them and buy their work because of the inherent quality within their work. Now, they think that great art should be able to sell itself. But the sad truth is that this is simply not true and will never happen unless you're extremely lucky. And so someone will need to drive traffic towards the place where you sell your art. And there are two main ways to drive traffic. The first way is to collaborate with a gallery, a crypto art marketplace, a dealer or anything like that. And the second way is to drive traffic yourself through social media or advertisement or both. So let's talk about both of these ways. So the first way is through galleries and marketplaces. Now, the benefit of working with galleries or crypto art marketplaces is that these people have an audience, they have collectors and can drive those collectors towards your art, resulting in sales. And in return, these places will take commissions on those sales for galleries that will usually be around 50%. There are a couple of downsides to this as well. First of all, it's generally speaking extremely hard to collaborate with mid-level or blue chip galleries slash marketplaces. Marketplaces. These crypto art marketplaces are getting thousands of applications on a weekly basis. And the same goes for galleries. And on top of that, most of those galleries will take those submissions not even seriously, meaning that they don't select their artists out of those submissions. In other words, getting a collaboration is extremely hard. Now, once you have a collaboration, it might not be what you would expect either. Here's the thing. When it comes to galleries or marketplaces, there is an 80-20 principle among the artists they represent, meaning that 20% of their artists will be responsible for 80% of the profits. This results in those marketplaces constantly seeking out opportunities to represent those 20% artists, stimulate those artists and promote those artists because the majority of their revenue comes from those artists, meaning that if you're not part of those 20% artists, you will likely not even see a lot of sales in the first place. Another major downside is that inevitably, you are dealing with people, meaning that you are dealing with opinions, emotions, subjectivity. You might get into a fight with your business partner, or they might simply not like you as much as one of the other artists, resulting in a lot of struggles and hurdles, and even in some cases, outbreaks, fights, and true horrors stories. I've heard many stories of artists not getting paid for work that the gallery sold and things like that. Now besides everything I've mentioned, there is one more reason why you should perhaps consider driving traffic yourself. And that is that most galleries and marketplaces will only work with artists who can drive traffic themselves anyway. And so the first section of this video about the option where you don't have to drive traffic yourself is in theory true but practically speaking, will almost never happen. And so in order to become such an established artist that these marketplaces will want to work with you, you might want to focus on driving traffic yourself anyway. That brings us to the next chapter, which is driving traffic yourself. There are some obvious benefits connected to driving traffic yourself. First of all, you will keep the 50% commission and increase your profit margin. Second of all, you can step away from the France politics types of things and work with social media algorithms instead. Social media is ruled by algorithms and the benefit of algorithms, algorithms, 
<laughs> is that they don't have a racism bias or gender bias or anything like that. Algorithms also don't care if you come from a wealthy family and they don't care about whether or not your daddy is a regular customer of the gallery. They don't even care if you sleep with the gallery owner or not. None of these things will give you an edge in the social media landscape. On top of that, social media is also skill-based. On YouTube, for example, if you make the most helpful and best videos, you will win. It's that simple. And so this can be very refreshing for artists considering that the art world is not as fair as algorithms. The art world, in the art world, the best paintings don't win. And the best artists sometimes get discriminated. Now the big downside is of course that it's extremely hard and extremely competitive and not always taken seriously by serious art collectors, dealers or art insiders. Or at least... Not yet, but those things will likely change fast. Next up, we have to select a place to sell our art. When it comes to selecting a place to sell your NFT art, there are two main options at this moment. You can either go for your own website and sell your NFTs there, or you can use an online marketplace to sell your NFT art. On. There are some downsides and upsides connected to each of these options, so let's go over them together. The first option is selling through crypto art marketplaces, which are marketplaces where artists can list art and collectors can buy art and where all transactions are recorded and stored on the blockchain. One of the benefits with working with marketplaces is that they can create a lot of trust, which is very important since a lot of people don't trust blockchain technology and NFT art at this moment. Some people even think it's a scam. Now, the problem with the lack of trust in collectors is that without trust, they will simply not buy anything from you. Trust is one of the most important aspects of any sales process. And so working with major marketplaces can definitely create more trust which is highly necessary in early times like these. Next up, we have to talk about a major downside to working with marketplaces, and that is the fact that you will be losing your customers. And so for that reason, you might want to consider selling through your own website. Here's the thing. If you choose to work with a marketplace, you give away the most important part of your business, which is your customers. Let me explain what I mean with that, giving away your customers. Well, you might think that the people who are buying your art are your customers basically because they are buying your art. But the truth is that they are the customers of the marketplace. The marketplace will have their email address and send them newsletters. The marketplace will have their data and know exactly which web pages they visited and how they interacted with those web pages. It's the marketplace that will then, based on that data, put ads in front of them with retargeting campaigns to generate more sales. It's the marketplace that will have the lifetime value of the customer, meaning that it's the marketplace that can sell to that customer again and again and again over time. And so because of this, it's the marketplace that will be building a relationship with that customer, meaning that the collector is the customer of the marketplace instead of your customer. If you choose to sell through your own website, you can do all of the things I just mentioned yourself, which is going to make you more money in the long run because now you can benefit from the lifetime value of your customer yourself. Now, one of the big downsides to selling on your own website is that in order to do that, you have to build a website and connect that to the blockchain so that people can buy your NFTs. Now, this comes with a lot of technical hurdles that you will have to overcome, which is very hard, especially if you're a beginning artist. And so which one should you choose? Should you build your own website or go for a marketplace? Well, the best artists in the world are artists who do both. They have their own websites that they use most of the times and drive most traffic hours because they understand that we live in a data economy where the data of the customer is the most important part. But they also see the value in collaborating with other brands and institutions because they can then expand their customer base and have a nice collaboration through that. So this is probably the thing that you should strive for, but it's not something to expect from yourself in the first year because this will, of course, take a lot of time. Moving on to the third part of this video, which is the size of your audience. How big does your audience need to be in order to drive enough traffic to make enough sales? Well, the answer to this question is not as easy as you might think. 
as much as I would like to give you concrete numbers that you can use as a reference, I can't do that because it depends on so many factors. Your audience, the relationship you have with your audience, the social media platform you use, the art you make, the price points of the art that you offer, the quality of your collectors, and the power of your brand, etc, etc, etc. But in situations like this, I always like to think about the inspiring Amanda Palmer story, which I believe it's going to help you a lot. So Amanda Palmer is a musician. She has a punk band that didn't found any success. They were struggling a lot. And luckily for them, after a couple of years, they got a record label deal. And things started moving in the right direction. Until the record label said that they wouldn't work with them anymore. And the reason they gave was that the album only sold 20,000 records, which was not enough for a record label. And Amanda, as a last resort, decided to go indie and start a Kickstarter project. With that project, they brought in $1.2 million in just four weeks, making them instantly the most successful indie punk band of that time and still the most successful Kickstarter music project ever. And guess how many people backed up that project? 20,000. The same number that got them fired from a record label deal. And so 20,000 in the traditional art world is nothing. It gets you fired. 20,000 in your space, in this case Kickstarter, equals to about 1.2 million and turns you in the most successful music Kickstarter project of all time. And so depending on the scenario, the number 20,000 means something or nothing at all. And so as a beginning artist, you have to understand that it's less about the size of your audience and more about what you do with that audience. Now, if Amanda would have done the same Kickstarter project today, it wouldn't have had the same effect. When they did that project, Kickstarter was new and they were one of the first musicians who crowdfunded their dream. And so that's the power of being the first. That's the power of the first mover advantage. And that is what we are seeing today with the NFT space at this moment. Ferocious had nothing. He didn't have a fan base. He didn't have insane art, didn't have any art collectors, dealers, exhibitions, museums, or solos, didn't want any awards, had no publications. He basically had no art career whatsoever, but just because he was the first to move in the NFT space, he made over a million dollars with his art project in just, just a couple of weeks. I guess what I want to say is that the NFT space or in the NFT space, you don't need a large audience at this moment. And two years from now, that might be very, very different. The time for NFTs is now. And it might take you, it might take another 10, 20, 30 years before we get another chance like this. What I want to say is that it is most certainly way easier to be the first than to work your ass off for 20 years. Moving on to the last chapter of this video, which might be the most important and valuable one, but it's for the slightly more entrepreneurial artists out there. Here's the thing. You probably know that whenever you are in a gold rush scenario, the people who are making the most money are the ones who are selling the shovel. And so we have to ask ourselves what the shovel for artists is in this scenario. What the goal is should be pretty obvious and it's probably the reason why you're watching this video in the first place. There are a couple of artists, unknown artists, who had no art career and suddenly became millionaires because they were very early with the whole NFT space. Some might say that they were lucky to some extent. And so the goal is obvious. The goal is making NFTs and selling your NFTs. And because of this gold, we see everyone jumping on this hype. We see everybody making NFTs from digital artists to regular artists to influencers and even Hollywood celebrities. And because the, the competition is so big, you should ask yourself if you can distinguish yourself from them. Because if you can, then that's amazing. But if you can't, then selling NFT art might not be worth for you. And so for most artists, selling your NFT art is probably not worth it in the short term. And so what are the shovels? Is there a way to sell NFT art without all the competition? Is there a way to go around all these influencers and celebrities? Well, the answer is yes. The answer is selling NFTs, but not your own NFTs and not the NFTs you bought from someone else. I'm talking about making NFTs for other people so that they can sell their own NFTs. 
I'm talking about selling the shovel. At this moment, a lot of influencers are in deep need of NFTs. They want to sell their NFTs. They want to find the gold, but they don't know anything about art and cannot make NFTs themselves. And so you, as an artist, could potentially offer your service to them. You could list yourself on Fiverr as somebody who can make NFTs for influencers, or you can directly approach influencers and other people yourself and sell the shovel to dig the gold to them. I actually have been thinking about doing this myself and starting a completely new studio where I would collaborate with other artists and where we would offer this service to influencers. And so if you're interested in selling the shovel, if you're really good at making art and digital art, but you're a little bit scared of the business side of this, then feel free to leave a comment in the comment section with your IG handle. I'll check it out. Or you can just directly contact me on Instagram with a direct message or anything like that. Now, in order to make this video complete, we should talk more about selling your crypto art, how to find art collectors on Instagram that are interested in your art, how to then approach those collectors, how to price your art in a way to promote sales, which are the best crypto art marketplaces to sell your art on, etc, etc, etc. And so we should be talking about that. But here's the thing. That would be another 15 minutes and frankly, several separate other videos. And so I'm very sorry, but we are not going to do that predominantly because I already did. I have a whole playlist with several videos on how to sell your art, but the video that I would recommend as the perfect part two on this video is probably 10 best crypto art marketplaces. If nothing else, the video will erase another question mark and bring you a little bit closer to your goal to become a respected artist in this society. Hope to see you there. Ciao, ciao.